Hey everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Mood TV. Mood TV. Okay, so I listened to J. Cole. Don't know what to do. And Lil like Wayne is my brother. He's older than me, he's like 10 years older than me. So he always put on like J. Cole, Lil Wayne and stuff. That's like the first two rappers I listened to. Like six, I used to try to play the piano in my house and I would make up little songs and I would force my little brother to sing these songs with me and he probably hated that shit. Am I supposed to say you? Because it's you. Smooth, you know, he gets you right. Be yelling at me sometimes. I'm not fucking with you, don't come here. Uh, no, not really. I'm trying to make my own decision. If it was to my mom and dad, I'd probably be like a doctor or some shit. Um, nah, yeah, this is like a self decision. I do music because it makes me feel good, and it's better to put your words into a song than into your emotions. You feel me? Freestyle, too good. <laughs> so I would have to. But you try. And you I make try. A, I try. Good songs. Yeah, I try. Sometimes. But uh, most of the time, I do break my songs, and that's how they come out faster and better and more put together. Um, I feel like I am desensitized to emotions sometimes, so it's harder for me to write music now at this age than it was when I was like 18, 19 years old. You know what I mean? No. I'd be talking about like all my old songs sometimes. I'd be putting in like um, like some references to my old, old music that I have. Cause that's who I was when I was doing it. You know I mean? That's really it. I love cheeseburgers, mac and cheese, chocolate cake, chocolate strawberries. Or raspberry iced tea. And water. Gotta drink your water. Hey. Love you guys. Thank you for listening to my music. <laughs> When they see me on prison, they gon' panic. It just expresses people's emotions so that more people can relate to things and connect with each other at different levels. Lucky? <laughs> Definitely would be lucky. He's so far. <laughs> Probably like Sleepy Hollow, because like I think our voices would like just try to me go together a little bit better. I'm gone, yeah, I'm gone, yeah. Or maybe Montel Fish, I don't know if you know who that is. But... Yeah, I heard of him. Yeah? I like Montel Fish. He's a, he's a singer, and he's a little bit different than like a lot of other people. I do, and I sing, <laughs> I gotta pipe, I gotta pipe full of sunshine, <laughs> that song. And Alicia Keys, like all that shit you look up on YouTube when you find out you can sing and you type in karaoke. It's the shit I'm singing in the shower. <laughs> uh, I was arrested a couple times. Not gonna get, not gonna get into detail, <laughs> but nothing crazy. Hopefully getting to do shows more often and posting more and Definitely more shows. Account. We yeah. could make I could make that happen. Yeah, so. so like stuff like that. Um just trying to reach a bigger fan base and stuff like that. I have to put myself out there a little bit more. I don't have any other talents. <laughs> like I can't draw, I can't paint. I can't
stay in school. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Sixteen, but I drove a car at like thirteen years old. I stole my mom's car with my friend Kayla, <laughs> and we um, I texted my little sister. I was like, "I'm all, let me know when you're all the way home so we can come back." And I had no idea how to drive the car, so I had to let the girl Kayla drive the car. It was so funny, and I did get caught like a couple. Just as a human being, I would go to Hawaii. I'm like obsessed with Hawaii. I want to go there so bad. Fuck all the forest fires, save Maui. Maybe Italy. But I want to do all that stuff without being famous. The fact that they only make thick girls famous, <laughs> except for Coyle Ray. We got Glow Red and Coyle Ray. See Red. She's not skinny. Yes, she is. She got a little, yeah. She, don't lie. <laughs> She turned up though. You're funny as hell. She you said she got a little she yacht. <laughs> she done. That's crazy. She fire. Sexy Red is for the people. Sexy Red's gangster. She's like the chief of women right now. Oh my now. god, she's so dope. She's, she's literally hard. so fire. She came out Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. <laughs> she is the goat. She's like the chief of women right now. <laughs> uh, Florida. For real? Yeah, I'm from Florida. I was born in Broward County, Florida, and then I moved to New York when I was like four. So Damn, you was born in the hood. I was lit out there. I loved it. Really liked, like, when I was like 13, I would listen to, it's not really, I mean, I guess it's hip hop. It's more like R&B, but um, Tory Lanez, like his EP. I liked um, this guy named Troy Ave when I was like really younger. I like scattered songs. I don't really listen to like albums. Um, I'm gonna say 17. It's on SoundCloud. Check it out. <laughs> Designer. <laughs> That's the first song. Uh, Baby Dior, B B Y D I O R R R. You heard about what's going on in Israel? Yeah. That shit crazy, right? I had a lot more people. Talk in about your first song. New York, as closer to me, because I moved to Jersey like two years ago. So I, would, I had a lot of friends in New York and. A lot of people would, um, that were doing music and shit, so there was this kid named Floss. He was my producer for a while. He was pretty good. And, um, just because of that, he used to record all of my music. That was actually recorded by a studio named Phoenix, but I fell off with them. I just didn't like it anymore. It was, like, not as good as, like, people that were personally doing you know, nah, it's not even like that. It's just like they would just, they'll just like record anything, literally anybody and anything, and be like fire. And knowing that shit is ass, like, keep it real. Tell people that their shit ain't fire. So smooth, um, totally honest. Very, yeah, very honest about what you got going on. So if you think you're doing good and you're not, he gonna be like, nah. And if you think you're doing good, you might be. And he'll tell you you're good or not. But um, he helps you push into songs and try to finish things, hypes you up, makes you feel great. Period. He a Gemini, I'm a Gemini. <laughs> yeah. Probably definitely did. 100%. If you go listen to the old song, you could actually listen to the new song. Probably just like a song would be dropping soon in it. Um, I'm not sure what that would be yet. Probably in the next time frame of like this month. Nah, um, he cool, but nah. I don't, I don't really have that. Like I don't really look up to anybody. It's not really like that. I mean, um, I look up more to my like old producer because he was like an artist and he was a producer and he did a lot. Like he played the drums, he played the guitar. So he was like multi-talented and somebody that could do like all those things in one is kind of cool to me.
Seems like you're missing your ex engineer. <laughs> nah, I'm not. He's cool though. Like he's somebody that really influenced me into music. You're also, missing your ex engineer. My ex boyfriend actually uh, put me onto music too. He was really really good as well. He was a, a like a, a singer, like a rapper singer. Love relationships. Love love. Spread love, not hate. <laughs> <laughs> Or Not does if you're your, a freak. Or Don't does your me. Or does your team handle them? Just me, dude. <laughs> Independent. <laughs> I don't got no fucking team. <laughs> Four songs. So. I think y'all right. waiting for a come up. And it's not gonna happen because they're gonna dip on you as soon as the come up comes. They are waiting on a come up. You ain't got no contracts. I hate that shit. They ain't got no contracts. They're doing things out of their heart. Loki, I feel a little bit bad, but like, not really because they know what they're doing. But, um, there ain't no solid contracts with solid lawyers that you guys are in and out of deals with. So it's like, you're not gonna get what you think you're gonna get. Nah, I went to Newdorf High School. I feel like you were, you were probably like the famous person at school. I was, I was, I, I was like cool or whatever, but you probably I really had interacted. bad friends. No, 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 I really ain't interacted with too many people. I had one friend. Or did you just have your headphones in all day? Nah, no, not even headphones. I would just go home. I used to, I dropped out of high school, so. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, like I would just go home. What year? At Eleven o'clock. Uh, what? Not junior. year, but junior. What? Yeah, I was like seventeen. So I dropped out. I got a GED. You, you homeschooled? Nah, I got GED at a uh, Tom Bell High School. She was alright. It was nice. I liked it. I do work. I am a waitress. <laughs> That's I've had 45 That's jobs. Come, you gotta realize, sexy brand and all these people, like, you'll see pictures surface, like, them working at Wendy's and Nicki shit. Minaj, Red before they, yeah, like. So I did go to a Lucky show, and it was actually so fucking lit. Everybody there was like my vibe, kind of. So yeah. when you go there and you go to a place that everybody's kind of dressed like the same. And the Lucky Fans is a different it's type. Like, it's awesome. People kept walking up to me. They're like, let's take pictures. I'm like, I don't even know y'all. <laughs> let's oh, do shit, it. You're famous. It was, no, it was fun. I like. Do it. you think rappers have an impact on society? A little bit. Probably not the best way, but. I'm more honest in my music than I am in real life. I think like I'm not I would rather not say something in real life and just keep it pushing but in my music I'm just gonna say everything that I think you know what I mean? yeah, you'd be like yeah, just the artist just chilling hanging out I don't actually even use social media yeah. too often I gotta get on it but I should use it more because it would uh, bump me up. I do have a TikTok, but I'm I'm only fun like fun and jokes on there, so it's nothing to do with music really. Nope. <laughs> 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 so like I feel like when I make the song, like when I write it, when I'm not here. You be sad as I shit. go into yeah. those emotions, and then when I get here, it's just like really. Worse. You still bring out those emotions. Yeah, but it's not as much as like a. You were, like when emotion. you were in a room, you were probably tear dropping about. Yeah, you know, like it. you cry a little bit. You got the, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's like, I don't know. I, it's more emotional when you're making the song than when you're like executing it, kinda. Okay, so 100%. Everybody could always do better, even as a person. Not even as a musician. So could Drake, even though he's the best. Yeah, so like you could always level up. You could always do better. You could learn how to do other instruments. You could learn how to use your vocals more often. You could learn how to use um, like your body to sing and stuff like that, which is a little bit different for like singers and rappers. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit different, but yeah, I'm just gonna, everybody could always do better. I'm not, so... <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> they support 
support me no matter what. So they like, uh, sometimes my dad will give me some money for the studio and stuff like that. Like he'll like really try to support me. He'll like try to get people to put it on the radio. My mom knows what country, like they always try to help me in different kinds of ways. I had a horrible boyfriend. He's a bad dude. Fuck you, Travis. <laughs> How long does it typically take you to write a song? Uh, like 45 minutes by myself. Facts. Yeah. That's good. That's really good. As long as I'm consistent with it, if I stop doing it, then it's probably never going to get done. Going. So I start my day with a nice water bottle and a crisp, crisp beep hit. <laughs> That's how I go through. No toast or No, eggs. so I'll eat like a, I'll drink a coffee. Like, all right, I'll drink a water bottle. I'll wait know like you're 35 minutes. Old. And then I'll drink coffee and then I'll eat some. Maybe like a bagel or something. Sitting there in the morning at 5.30 drinking a coffee. You know you're getting old. I'm up in my field now. We go through emotions. Going through the most. Myself, I feel I lost weight. Feeling like you gone. I swear like it's a process. Running through these hoes, I'm pouring up the potion.